What's up everybody? I'm Dustin. This is Survey Homestead. You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of not having a garden that is big enough. Okay, so guess what? I'm going to make something to change that. All right, we're about to make a plow. Very simple, very basic. I'm not gonna try to make its own three-point hitch or anything. I'm gonna find a way to temporarily attach it to the grooming deck right here on the small Yanmore. Not gonna have rotating discs. I'm just gonna have them stationary, basically some big round pointed scratchers that will dig through the grass and into the ground, you know, maybe just five inches or so to get an area ready for corn and okra before it's too late. Before it's too late. All right, I'm thinking that this is gonna work. For now, I can just strap it down with a chain around the A-frame right here and tie on a few cinder blocks for some weight. I think I think this will work. If I have to, I'll get the boys to stand on it as I drive. Huh? <laughs> no, not really. <coughs> hey, that frame came from a bunk bed that my brothers and I used to use when we were younger. Thanks, Dad, for letting me use it. Blades. I have about eight or ten of them, I think, from my uncle couple from myself and a couple that I bought at a garage sale recently. I will put them under here so they will go under under the two of these and I can weld them at two points. I think this is going to work y'all. I have ten small blades and two larger ones. I think I'll just weld them to the sides so that they don't stick out way further down than the smaller ones and I just lean these up to lay them out they won't be this way but they'll be spaced out pretty much like that can you taste the okra Woo. all right I just did a little bit of math some mathematics to do some calculations so I decided about where I wanted them to go on the ends about an inch from here and then I looked on my carpenter's square and saw what 10 degrees was from the pivot point to here it's a 10 degree angle from this straight edge so I found the center all the way from here to here and I just estimated because I don't want two blades uh, so close together that dirt keeps getting clogged in them and that still might be a little close but I went with the carpenter square and did 10 degrees and uh, and measured up here so that's where this mark comes from and then I just sort of estimated from here to here what looked evenly spaced with three more blades from the one in the middle to the one on the edge to make five here and five there and it ended up being about four inches so I marked four inches but then I looked at it and that's not very much of an angle I think I can be a little more aggressive than that story of my life right never quite aggressive enough so that's about 10 degrees I'm just gonna estimate and try to go at more like 15 and so I'll just put them all maybe about a half inch off from their top mark let's see yeah I think I like that a lot better that's a little bit steeper yet not so much to put a lot of stress on them and so it's not going to be a deep plowing machine but it's not too bad I mean if I can get them to go almost full depth Man, that'll be pretty nice. Let's get out the old tape measure here. If 
five and a half inches. You get five and a half inches of scratching and scraping. That amended with some compost and wood chips and things. Old grass and leaves and all that. I think we'll be all right. Now it's for the welding. Now it's time for the welding. All right, this is what we have so far. I feel like I'm missing a blade because there's not one to go there. I don't know what I could have done with it, but it's looking okay. This is not a great welder. Flux core wire feed is, is just kind of sloppy and junky. I learned that from watching uh, Chucky. Whoa, that was an expansion crack. So I'm going to have to make some type of a rod that goes across the top and joins them all again at a third point because these two little specks are not enough to hold it on. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to work. I have to get back to it tomorrow. Supper time. Ah, I found him. It's right under me. That guy's going to go right there. Thank you, Lord. 
Whew. Hey, thanks for watching Turvey Homestead, everybody. Check out part two. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.